the left hand side of the given equation is defined when the expressions under the square root are greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 5 must be greater than or equal to 0 and x must be greater than or equal to 0. And both of these conditions are satisfied when x is greater than or equal to 0. Now, using properties of logarithms, this equation implies that log of root of x plus 5 plus root of x to the base 5 is equal to 7 raised to the power 0, which is equal to 1. Again, using properties of logarithms, this implies that root of x plus 5 plus root of x is equal to 5 raised to the power 1, which is equal to 5. Now, take the square of both sides. We get x plus 5 plus x plus 2 times root of x times x plus 5 is equal to 25. This simplifies to 2x plus 2 times root of x times x plus 5 is equal to 20. Two cancels on both sides and this expression can be written as root of x times x plus 5 is equal to 10 minus x. Now take the square of both sides again. We get x times x plus 5 is equal to 10 minus x whole square which is equal to 100 minus 20x plus x square. x square cancels on both sides and this equation becomes 5x plus 20x is equal to 100 or 25x is equal to 100. Therefore, x is equal to 4 which satisfies the condition x greater than or equal to 0 obtained earlier.